Welcome to a fall sizzle-tastic episode of Lily Sizzling. I'm dancing here with my jugs. Put these things on. <laughs> it's a new bra! Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so tonight's episode, we're gonna be making something cool. We're gonna do cinnamon apple pork chops. So this is something that I've always talked about doing uh, on the show with pork chops. So uh, I've done a pork chop episode previously and I discussed that, well, maybe I'll do some cinnamon apple pork chops. So here we are, we're in the fall, and what's better time to do it? So we're gonna have cinnamon apple pork chops, and what we're gonna serve alongside of this is a variation of the Moroccan uh, couscous stuffed acorn squash that I did on a prior episode there. And uh, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna make these acorn squash, and we're gonna stuff them with couscous and with uh, some cranberries, and all that different uh, nice fall flavorings that come along with it. So here's our acorn squashes that we got from the pumpkin patch. And they do have seeds. So I'm gonna get out all their seeds here. Seeds, seed, seed. You need someone nice and strong with a big sharp knife to open these things up. <laughs> Cameraman taking all the credit for it. It was me. I'm big and strong with a knife. Ha ha ha. And everyone in the audience says, no, you're not, Lily. We've seen you cut before. Doll knives. Doll <laughs> knives. Yeah, I know. No, they're actually Ginsu well, now. We've got they're the Ginsu now. Yeah, they're not. They're not You've all. upgraded. I've, I've upgraded over the years. So, we don't need no seed scooper fancy thing here for this. I just... Scoop them right she on She still out. needs to replace her whisks with a, or replace her forks with a whisk. Yeah, I know. Oh, I like my fork whisk. <laughs> oh, it's a preference thing. Yeah, it's, it's a preference thing. I like to use forks as whisk. All right, so these little doodads here are all gutted out of seeds. We're gonna take them and brush them with some olive oil here. Some brush and brush and brush. Brusha, brusha. There we go. Make sure that they're all brushed nice and good with olive oil so they do not stick. We have the oven preheated about 375. We got these guys on cooking here. And while they're cooking, we'll start preparing the apples. There we go. Preheat's done. Oven's ready, 375. Just gonna pour the rest of this in here. There we go. Brush it all over. There we have it all nicely brushed up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasonings to these squashes while they can cook face down on the platter. Let's see what we've got in store for tonight. A little bit of pepper. And uh, let's see, a little bit of rosemary. a little dash. You can use a little bit of salt too if you want to add some sea salt over there. Line some up over the tops of it if you prefer your salts. And we're gonna roast these face down like so onto a cookie tray. Ah, up there a little seed. He says, I want to be cooked and eaten and baked. I just baked all these nice pumpkin seeds too from our jack-o'-lanterns that we were carving. So here we go, here's our little squash guys. And we're gonna put our squash guys right there in the oven. They are gonna bake for about an hour. Meanwhile, we're gonna get our apples ready and everything ready to go here with the pork chops. So about 30 minutes into these, you should start having your pork chops up, your apples cooking, everything else cooking on the stove and your couscous getting cooked. So you can get that stuff all stuffed together and served on up. So about one hour meal. So let's get started with that coming up next. An apple a day keeps the sizzle away. No, apples are great to cook with. I just wish I could eat them raw. So these are some nice little apples over here and we're gonna basically uh, de-skin them and get them ready to chop up here to put into our thing. And you don't gotta be perfect on their skin. Wink. I'm not the best at de-skinning <laughs> apples. Okay. Yeah. Cut. Some Get people can do it all in one peel and I just don't. Like they like, I, I'm not, I do it like a potato. <laughs> don't make fun of me. Sorry. It's fun watching you 
star in your show. There. Now I've got it. There you go. Yeah. I just had to warm up. I don't cook with apples a lot, but I should. And last one. Pull off the top there. So there we have it. Nicely skinned apple. Annoying. I can see that being like someone's punishment having to sit there and skin apples all day long. So let's chop them in half. Hey, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I know. Half again. I'm just gonna slice them up into thin little slices here. We're gonna chop off the core. We're gone. Oh, you're getting rid of the best part. The core? Ew. You wanna eat the apple core? I'm hardcore. Yeah. You're so hardcore you eat the core. Horses do it. Yeah, you're not a horse. Stim. Oh, come on, some people call me a stud. <laughs> okay, cameraman, don't get too ahead of yourself this fall. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> I see you slice apples. Yes, I do slice apples. I slice apples too. Are you good at slicing apples? You know it. You want to slice my apples? I would love to slice your apples. Oh, look, you got three more to slice. Haha, -ha, you suckered yourself into it. No, I'm fine. So, anyways, here are apple slices, and we're going to get out a pan here. We're going to put them in there with some butter, and uh, you're going to watch me. Uh, slice the rest of these guys up you don't have to watch me do that so basically we're gonna get these into a pan with some butter and some cinnamon and some sugar and season them up and let these guys get nice and stewy and all that gooey ooey going on there for about a good 20 25 minutes or so and while we get the pork chops ready so now we're gonna take our apples and as you can see they are all sliced peeled and cored we're gonna put some butter in there. We're gonna put a little bit of brown sugar. Melt all this down together and it's gonna taste really awesome. Go about three good spoonfuls. Oh, I won't. And we're gonna sprinkle it really sugar, good baby. with cinnamon. Look at all that lovely cinnamon. Then we're gonna get some ginger on here. Now after this cooks down for a few minutes, I'm going to put some cloves and a little bit of nutmeg on there to so bring it all together. So let me start stirring this stuff in and we'll start adding in the other seasonings. Just have to stir it carefully. And all this stuff's gonna melt down together. It'll get it'll get smaller basically in your pan as it as time progresses. It is also how you make the applesauce. Kinda. Applesauce, yeah. We puree it though yeah. afterwards. Blend it or something like that. Yeah. It's all fun. Applesauce is good. I can eat applesauce. I can no, eat cinnamon apple sauce apples. Delicious. So we're gonna just kind of let this guy cook here. I'm gonna turn him to about a three. So we're gonna kind of slow cook him in here. I'm gonna cover him up and kind of just leave him in here to cook, stirring frequently, and then we're gonna take and we're going to put a little bit of that uh, nutmeg and the cloves into him in a few minutes here as he's about maybe a quarter of way done cooking. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have our squash in here cooking and next turn we're gonna start uh, getting ready to prepare couscous and pork chops. So we're getting our apples here ready and as you can kind of tell they're cooking down because they were over pouring the pan before so now they're easier to stir. I'm not over pouring. I'm not over pouring the pan anymore. So you just gotta kind of let it cook down and this will be a good time to add in a little dash of your nutmeg there and a little dash of your oh, cloves. So yep, and a little dash of your cloves. So just a little dash of both. And then we're just gonna stir those on in with all that cinnamon and sugar that's already on them and kind of fold it in like so. And so these guys are cooking up really nice in here. So I'm gonna basically cover these guys. We're gonna start getting ready uh, here in a few minutes. 
uh, for our pork chops and then finally for our couscous. If you come over here, you can see that our squash is inside of here and it is cooking. Let me go ahead and grab the squash. So our squash is cooking and you can hear the nice sizzle we got here on our squash. Flip it over, kind of show you what's happening here. You know, a little bit of the browning and caramelization to it. And you can start stabbing it together with a fork. And see, when this happens, your squash is getting done. So this means our squash is about, oh, I would say a good half point way now here to cooking. I had to turn my squash up because uh, we have a very uh, temperamental oven. So I turned it up to about 415. This one's not done. So these little ones are getting done, but this, this big one's about halfway done. So we've got about another 20, 30 minutes here left on our squash bake. And once our squash get done baking here, we're gonna take and start getting the couscous ready to shove up inside of them and stuff them with, with our cranberries and all that stuff. So what we're gonna need to do for that process is we're gonna need to grill up some onions and some, uh, some uh, mushrooms and some different vegetables that we're going to be using to stuff the squash and the cous with this couscous so it, they can cook together and we have a nice stuffing. So let's get ready with our pork chops, start frying those on up and start working on our vegetables for our couscous. We're going to start here working on our sizzletastic pork chops here. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil on up in here. You could use butter if you wanted to. And we're going to get a whole plate of pork chops up in here. And they are, of course, going to cook down. We're going to try to spread them out in here. Being squeamish and not trying to use my hands with my newly painted nails. So we've got all of our pork chops. Line them up in here. Get over there, little guy. There we go. So we're going to fry up this big old some pan of pork, pork chops. chops. They are some big pork chops, aren't they? Here's a little bit of red pepper. We're going to use some garlic powder, of course. And uh, some cumin. Cumin. Just cumin. a hint with some pepper. What's the hint? And now this nice little seasoned mixture of uh, pork chops here. Oh, I have rosemary. Let's not forget that. Rosemary. There we go. Just a little bit of rosemary. We're gonna pour delicious. Up. I know we're going to pour apples over that. So we're going to have these pork chops here and these guys are going to sizzle on up together. And meanwhile, we're going to get over here to our apple station here and let's take a look this at these cinnamon apples. Causing a stir in this house here because everybody can smell the apples. Yeah, I know. They smell really good. They're starting to draw attention to the kitchen. So see our apples are starting to candify in here and you can see how they get nice and soft and they're just, oh, they're good. They're, these guys are just cooking up a storm and they smell delicious. I keep them covered to keep all that good steam in there and just let them get nice and soft and juicy. And meanwhile, uh, let's get our back burner on here for our couscous. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil into our skillet pan back here. And we're going to start by uh, chopping up these mushrooms. Oops, a little bit of water left in that pan. <laughs> yeah, I just rinsed it out. It's a newly washed pan. <laughs> Put our mushrooms on up in here. Ah, get over here, mushroom guy. That was scapey. I was calling mushroom guys. Mushroom guys, they need little faces. They're cute. I'm playing too much Super Mario. I know. It's okay. Ah! Do 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 Yes. I am photobombed by Halloween. I am photobombed. All right, so we're going to get this on cooking <laughs> on it. It did just happen. And we have right in here some garlic. We're going to add in some cloves of garlic into what will be our couscous. So cloves of garlic. I have about maybe about four cloves, and I've just chopped them up in here. We're going to cook them all in. It's going to be a nice stuffing. 
This is an alternative to Thanksgiving stuffing too, if you want to start thinking ahead to Thanksgiving, which gosh, I don't want to. <laughs> I have to do all the cooking, but uh, you can also make a stuffed acorn squash with couscous instead of uh, stuffing and kind of give a little surprise to your guest uh, at Thanksgiving time. So here we have our onions, and we're going to grill these onions up in here too. Let's take these onions. So all this stuff will grill up, and then we'll add in broth and couscous and our pomegranate. So we've got a nice little treat here for y'all. We're going to use some little pomegranate raisins for this. So let's get let these guys cook on up. Let's let these pork chops cook on up here. So it's nice and heated up right there. There they go. And everything's off and we're getting ready to plate this stuff on up soon. We're just going to watch this stuff cook. Watch this stuff cook and start just finishing up this couscous and get everything start ready to be plated on up. So we're about maybe approaching uh, a little bit past halfway here on this episode. So come back with me, y'all, and let's finish cooking up some couscous. All right, y'all, we're back here. We got some uh, couscous. So we're gonna put in about one and a half cups of couscous to a can of stock and some little pomegranate uh, raisins here. And we're gonna cook this couscous for like about a good five, 10 minutes, about five. It gets plump, you'll watch it plump enough. We're gonna add in some seasonings here, some cumin, and a hint of cinnamon, and a pinch of clove. So kind of like a lot of those India type spices in here. Kind of like a modified, almost uh, curry. So you're going to watch this stuff cook on up here. We're going to cover it. It's going to cook on about a medium, medium low. Don't cook it high. You'll burn your couscous. In the meantime here, I've covered our pork chops because it helps them get done faster. And we have pork chops here and these guys are almost done. So, and I've turned off our squash and our squash is just cooling off so we can stuff it here. So dinner will be done in about 5-10 minutes now, so let's wait on the pork chops and the couscous and our apples, of course, are just beautiful and they are done and they are tasty. I mean, they're really good. So we have our apples simmering on a low. So let's get our couscous up and our pork chops and our acorn squash stuffed and serve up this next episode here of Lily Sizzling to Yell for the fall 2014. All right, so I just added in half a cup of boiling water that I microwaved up for a few seconds into the couscous. And then this is a little bit of hot cinnamon sugar butter that's going to go into this couscous here. And we're going to continue to let this guy steam. That's the trick to him. Heat off steam. So he's steaming now for about four or five minutes. We just got these guys out and look at how beautiful they are. We are going to stuff these guys with couscous here and get these pork chops on up. Those guys are just divine. They're, they are done. This is how you tell when your squash is done. Apples are done. Pork chops are just about there. Look at them sizzling up pork chops over here. Done. Done. They have a fork in them, honey, because they are done over here. Oh, look at that big old pork guy. Look at him. He's nice and done, too. I'm going to get these guys off the heat and plate them off here. Of course, some cinnamon apples all over the tops of them. And then we have our couscous, so we're going to let our couscous continue to just steam on up here. Let's get ready and let's plate this stuff on up on the next episode of Lily's Sizzling. All right, y'all, so we're going to plate up a pork chop here. And we're going to get some of this apple cinnamon right over the tops of him. Oh, yeah, look at that. I won't be stingy. Don't worry. Don't worry. I won't be stingy. Don't be stingy. Look at that. That's just beautiful right there. Just beautiful. And then we're going to take a nice squash here. Let's get one of these nice big squashes. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to take a we're going to stuff this bad boy up with some couscous. Now we're going to take and stuff this bad boy up with some couscous. 
and put that right over the top there. I'm going to do something a little extra special. Do you want to get something a little bit extra special for your plate rocks? Absolutely. After you're serving it up, take another little spoonful of butter, y'all. Take a little bit of cinnamon and cloves here. Don't be. A little bit of cloves. And then we're going to take a little bit of uh, brown sugar. I'm going to take a little pinch here of brown sugar. And another little pinch here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, I'm going to microwave this guy up here for about 15 seconds or so. Let's clear him off. I'm going to put him in the microwave here, and we're going to top the tops of this guy up with all that nice brown sugar and the nice cloves and all that stuff again. Right over the top, like a little juice over the top of it, like a little sauce. Look at this. Melted butter. And take a little spoon here and stir them on up. Stir, stir, stir. And right over the top of that bad boy. Yeah. Just right over the top. Some butter and some cinnamon and sugar and some cloves. Here you have it, folks. Sizzle, sizzle tastic. And we're still sizzling over there. We have made stuffed acorn squash with cinnamon apple pork chops. So what we did here with our squash shears, we took some acorn squash, we chopped them in half, we took out their seeds, we put some uh, olive oil on them, baked them in the oven, and I put about 415 for about an hour. And meanwhile, while we did that, we got our apples ready, cored and peeled four apples. So you take four apples and then a good heaping spoonful of butter, some cinnamon, about three tablespoons of uh, brown sugar, a little bit of cloves, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of of a nutmeg and you put all that stuff in there you mix it around and you let your apples stew for about 45 minutes i do it slowly so they get all that flavor in there yeah and then after that i took the pork chops there and we use the we use all different types of seasonings here we use red pepper we use the, the rosemary we use garlic we use all that good stuff here onto our pork chops and then we put and grill up our pork chops where we put the apples over the top of it made our couscous here with the with the, the mushroom guys we used our little um the uh, little cranberry looking things there the pomegranate uh, berries and our mushroom guys and uh, green onions and all that good stuff that went into there the garlic and we cooked that up there and we put some broth and the couscous in there mixed it around for about five minutes put a lid on it and then after about five minutes into it i put a little bit of that butter mixture on here and i topped it with that butter mixture too so that butter mixture is kind of what makes it special and you're going to get a nice beautiful cinnamon flavoring to this so i hope you liked another episode of lily sizzling make sure that you watch us on uh, youtube.com backslash lily sizzling and like us on facebook facebook.com backslash sizzletastic youtube.com backslash the rocks heart and sizzletastic.com where i will be trying to post episodes uh, more regularly on schedule there and seattle's channel 77 so I hope you have a good, happy fall, and uh, we'll come back here and we'll start cooking up some more great recipes for this fall season. So, bon appetit. See y'all soon. Bye.